Second story of the day is about our friend Jim Acosta at CNN. Uh, great guy, as, as Trump has said, good guy, really nice guy, really nice guy. Um, but he went down to McAllen, Texas, basically to you know film some CNN propaganda about how terrible a wall would be and how there's no crisis or whatever. I, I don't know what they do over there. I don't, I don't watch toxic stuff. I don't, I don't let that those vibes into my life. But I watched the clip. It's going viral. Because in pursuit of making Trump look bad, he actually proved Trump's point right tremendously, which they all have, to be honest. I mean, at what point do you just admit Obama said the same things Trump said, Chuck Schumer said the same things Trump said, e everyone knows a wall would work. I mean, it's pretty, what if they dig under? Okay, leave your house open and say, what if they break my window so I should not even have a front wall door? It's like, it's the first line of defense. Yes, people could break under, people could go over, there's all sorts of things, but it decreases a lot of things by like 90% out of pure common sense. It's I, I've already made a whole live stream explaining why. Um, he goes down there and he's walking around a wall that has slits in it and he's like, so, you gotta watch the clip, it's funny. I'll probably share it later. Uh, after this live stream, I'll share the clip for you guys. Cause it literally is a commercial for the wall. He didn't mean to, he's like, so, look at these slits here and the big tall wall. He was like, I don't see anyone, I don't see anyone crossing. I don't see a bunch of migrants here. He's like, there's a Burger King down the road. There's no crisis here. There's a Burger King, there's businesses. It's like, yeah, Jim, that's what happens. When you have a wall, no one comes in. You don't have people killing their kids across the border like they do all the time because liberals tell them, here, come here, come here. So then they murder their kid and their kid gets human trafficked and 80% of the women get raped and nobody seems to care. So yes, when you have a wall, there is no crisis. That's what Trump's trying to say quite literally. So he, he somehow, in his goofy attempt to, to prove Trump wrong, Made, a, made one of the best infomercials for why a wall does work, why, yes, it does save lives of migrants and women and children in Mexico. It saves lives over there. It saves lives here. Uh, it stops crime and it stops humanitarian crises from building up like in Tijuana that the media fabricated and basically uh, orchestrated. Yes, yes, Jim Acosta, congratulations. You figured out what fifth graders could figure out. Hey, Donnie, little Donnie, yes? Yes, Anomaly. What do you think would be a better idea to stop drugs and crime? Do you think we should leave it open? Or do you think we should build a wall? Uh, probably build a wall would stop some people. Yeah, Don, good, good job. He could barely speak English, but very simple stuff. It's like elementary school common sense and logic. But as we found out in America this year, Common sense is not so common. Uh, basic logic and, and three-year-old logic that literally a kid that can't even speak English could understand is not so common. They've used race, religion, gender, microaggressions, non-existent things that don't really exist, uh, the academic, academic system. They hide their sick, foolish, goofy agenda behind Hispanics who low-key don't even like them to begin with. Um, some really weird stuff, but thank you to Jim Acosta for making the best commercial for the wall, as I, I think anyone uh, at this point, like either you're lying to yourself, you're caught up in the the Hispanic debate, which I, I just want to say for a second, every time somebody says to me, like, and it very rarely happens nowadays, like I've got even liberals, like, and I'm like, I watched your stream on like why the wall works, and I didn't agree with it, but once you said that, I couldn't figure out a reason you were wrong, it's because I'm not wrong. I'm not, <laughs> it's not that the, the analogy I use in my other video, this one's not going to be as effective, but people that are liberal literally messaged me and were like, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out why what you said didn't make sense. Cause it, <laughs> cause it does make sense. Makes total sense. But stop hiding, uh, the, this, this weird border thing uh, behind Hispanics. Cause every time somebody tries to tell me that it's racist, they're always whiter than I am. They're like white as a ghost and there's nothing wrong, you know? Maybe you're from Greenland or something. You don't get a lot of sun. Maybe you're Irish. There's nothing wrong with being really white. But I, I just find it weird, just my own little CNN study. Polling shows that nearly 100% of people who say that the border wall is racist to me are always super white. And then I have a lot of Hispanic people I know in real life that want the wall. So I, I just can't figure out why you can't make an argument to me that makes logical sense without hiding behind a race 
that isn't even your race. That's all I'm asking. I'm not hiding behind Hispanics. I will tell you that kids are getting human trafficked and 80% of women are getting raped, but that's not why I say to build the wall. I don't say, oh, the kids are getting raped, so I'm right. I mean, I say that that is happening, but I also say, here's why a wall would work outside of race and emotions and all of this phony propaganda. Here's why. Here's a third grade analogy. Here's a fifth grade analogy. Here's an eighth grade analogy. Here's an adult analogy. Here's an apartment analogy. Here's a water analogy. Here's a human analogy. Here's 50 analogies. Pick one of them and try to figure out why what I said doesn't make sense outside of the fact that you're getting kids raped, which is true, but I don't just hide by, they don't have, but Hispan you're not even Hispanic. Why, at what point do you stop hiding behind races that aren't even yours? I mean, you go to an Elizabeth Warren rally for somebody that claims that they're the savior of uh, minorities. Look at an Elizabeth Warren rally. Everyone's white as a ghost. And it's, it, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, you would think these white saviors of uh, liberalism and, and minorities would have a little bit more of a diverse crowd. I don't know. Maybe I'm... <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to say that, but I'm having fun today, you know? It's uh, some strange stuff, but thank you, Jim Acosta, for being uh, a great spokesman for the wall, which makes sense. And you're making me and, and liberals and other people who weren't even a fan of the wall. I heard on Twitter that Cher is now saying, just build the wall so people can have their federal checks or whatever. And from what I'm, I've heard, too, I don't want to get too much into this. Nobody's losing their money. Like, do you notice what liberals do? They don't have a reason for why. Everyone's losing their money. You got to do it. And you're like, but why, why do I have to? Like, why does it make sense? Because there's workers that are not being paid. But it doesn't make what you're saying make sense just because you're screaming people. And first of all, no one's not getting paid. I mean, maybe someone eventually might miss a paycheck. But from what I've heard, no one actually is missing a paycheck. All of their, they're getting paid. Second of all, it doesn't make your point. They, they always have, do you know, do, even if you're a progressive and you don't agree with me on the wall, do you, do you not notice that? Like there's never, Trump talks for 10 minutes and makes, he literally is just chilling and says, this is why it works. And then they're like, but the babies and the women and children, we have to do it now or everyone's gonna get murdered. And then they're like, but, if everyone died in the New York Times, I'm a philosopher from Kent State University or wherever, it wouldn't be such a bad thing if all humans got murdered. It's like, make up your damn mind. You want everyone to die. You don't ever want anyone to die. It's like, what are you, first of all, what are you even talking about? Second of all, what's the solution to get there? Third of all, Jim Acosta, thank you for proving our point. The third and final story of the day